What's happening, you guys? CJ Harmer, aka Rel2 G on YouTube, over in the underscore Rel on Twitter. I'm back, and it's been such a good while since I last did a video here on YouTube. And I waited for this day to tell you what's on my mind and what grinds my gears today with the NFL training camp season starting later this week. I want to talk about LaShawn McCoy and the reason why he's not a Philadelphia Eagle at this particular standpoint. Oh uh, yeah, we know LaShawn McCoy, he won a scoring title in 2013-2014, said, quote unquote, the best running back in the NFL, you were one of the best running backs in the NFL, but your words couldn't back it up last year, because, and now you're sitting in Buffalo as Sean McCoy was traded to the Bills, saying to myself, why did he do that? And I came to the conclusion after all that was said, all that was done by Sean McCoy, shady his name is. Kelly traded McCoy because his actions at that PJ and Smith's restaurant with his friends there, he felt that the service was very lousy, so he decided to tip the guy a dollar and some change. Hell, if you go and tip somebody, if somebody has a poor service, you're not supposed to give anybody a tip. You don't have to. You're not even recommended to do that, whether you're a professional player or not. So, with you doing that, unfortunately, Charlie Sheen winning took it to himself to give this tipper a thousand dollar check for the services that he does very well at PJ and Smith's, and unfortunately, that was a slap to Chip Kelly in the Philadelphia Eagles face once they heard the news go all out on Twitter, go all out on Instagram and that's why he is where he is right now with the Buffalo Bills for Kiko and he fell down the steps to his face and this team, this Buffalo Bills opened their arms out to me and I bend down on my knees and say thank you for picking me so now we do play the Eagles in December and we want to kick some ass. Really? Sorry, Shady. Don't think you're going to come to Philadelphia acting the way that you've been acting as this WWE World Heavyweight Champion with the replica belt, thinking you are the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Cocky dudes don't get you nowhere in this league or nowhere in life. Cocky dudes, their friends will turn their backs before you know it. So, he did a Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins heels turn to this team, and now... The Eagles really want him to come back and see if he's going to do what he think he's going to do to our defense. Just wait till December. Rex Ryan, they ain't going to know what's going to hit them when they get to the Lincoln Financial Field. Also why Chip Kelly traded him was because, just his mouth, he's the real reason why Frank Gore, the running back for the Philadelphia Eagles, at one point, uh, he went to NFL Network, uh, LeSean McCoy did. And as the breaking news came, Frank Gore had changed his mind to not sign the contract with the Philadelphia Eagles, but instead sign the contract with the Indianapolis Colts. And LaShawn McCoy spoke to Frank Gore, and I believe in my heart he's the reason why Frank Gore is not with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, he's the reason why, oh, because he got traded, he got slapped in the face, he thought he was going to continue his career in Pennsylvania. This is what the Eagles did to me. I'm going to do this to them. I'm going to tell them, don't play for them because uh, Chip Kelly, he's going to make you run. Chip Kelly, he's going to make you Shady. Shady, shady, shady. You got a lot coming for you. When you come in December, you're going to get all the booze and maybe some cheers, but you're going to get booed when you come back to Philadelphia. Because as a sports town, you do not turn like you did on after you was introduced by the new team, the Buffalo Bills. And what makes you think the Bills are going to be outstanding in the AFC East? Not because of Rex Ryan, not because of you. I, I, I'm going to tell you all about everybody's standings and whatever in the next few weeks. My dad told me today that Sean McCoy is having a all-females party that he's hosting here in Philadelphia. Excuse me. You play for the Buffalo Bills now. You don't live here in Philadelphia. So why are you having a party for women 21 years of age and older here when you could do that in your own 
backyard in Buffalo. Something's just not right. And my dad was saying, I don't know what's up with this dude, but all female party? No men? 21 and over? Just women? You're trying to change over and have our women from Philadelphia to come to you for the bills? Cheering for them? I don't know. It's kind of funny. What do you guys think? How are you going to bring your black behind back to Philadelphia to host a party for only females and not do it in Buffalo? Where are you going to be training at? Where are you going to be playing at? Don't do that. How are you going to do that? You're not going to take away all women in Philadelphia and put them in Buffalo to cheer on you. Uh-uh. That's not going to happen. So guess what, pal? December, I think it's like the second or third week in December, you're coming here and you're going back to Buffalo. Not a winner, but a loser but I had to get that off my chest because it's been hurting me for the past few months and now that I got it off my chest I can go to bed happy later this week I'm going to talk more about the Philadelphia Eagles in the upcoming season coming up and then later on in the month of August I'm going to give you my status on what teams are going to be doing what for this upcoming season as training camp starts on Friday Thanks so much for watching. TJ Harmon, aka Relative G on YouTube, overrated underscore on Twitter. We'll see you next time.